This video is for all the professionals working on the profile of urban and land use planners and are willing to migrate to or work in Canada. It will provide you an in-depth knowledge about the National Occupational Classification Code of Urban and Land Use Planners. So, let's start the video. Hi, I am Smith and welcome to our channel A2Z Immigration Updates. We make informational and latest news videos regarding global immigration. Watch this video till the end and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon, so that you can get the most updated immigration news and information. In Canada, every skill profile has a unique code that is called National Occupational Classification Code or NOC Code. This code tells us about the detailed information associated with a profile and regarding the key parameters like Profile Description or Profile Lead Statements Key Responsibility Area and Main Job Duties Employment requirements. Alternative and illustrative job titles. Job titles in exclusion. So, first of all let's see the NOC code and its description for the profile of this video. The National Occupation Classification Code or NOC code for the profile of urban and land use planners is 2153. As per Statistics Canada the profile description of urban and land use planners is as follows. Urban and land use planners develop plans and recommend policies for managing land use, physical facilities, and associated services for urban and rural areas and remote regions. They are employed by all levels of government, land developers, engineering, and other consulting companies, or may work as private consultants. Key Responsibility Area Human Resources and Skill Development Canada has defined a proper set of job roles for every NOC code. There is not any fixed guideline for meeting all the requirements. As per the recommendation of experts a person should meet at least 50% of the job responsibilities, mentioned in the NOC code. Now let's discuss the key job responsibilities associated with your profile. So, here we go. Main job duties of an urban and land use planners are as follows. Compile and analyze data on demographic, economic, legal, political, cultural, sociological, physical, and other factors affecting land use. Confer with municipal, provincial, and federal authorities, civic leaders, social scientists, lawyers, land developers, the public and special interest groups to formulate and develop land use or community plans. Prepare and recommend land development concepts and plans for zoning, subdivisions, transportation, public utilities, community facilities, parks, agricultural and other land uses. Prepare plans for environmental protection, such as wildlife preserves, national and provincial parks, and protection of watersheds. Present plans to civic, rural, and regional authorities and hold public meetings to present plans, proposals or planning studies to the general public and special interest groups. Review and evaluate proposals for land use and development plans and prepare recommendations. Process application for land development permits and administer land use plans and zoning bylaws. Formulate long-range objectives and policies relative to future land use and the protection of the environment. Supervise and coordinate work of urban planning technicians and technologists. Employment requirements and other additional information. In this section we will discuss the employment requirements for your profile. Every job has a specific set of employment requirements associated with it. The main employment requirements factors includes 1. Type and level of formal education. 2. Specific training or apprenticeship. 3. Experience in the same or other related occupations. 4. Licenses certification and registration to practice in a regulated profession, extra. Before moving further let's understand the employment eligibility requirements and other additional information associated with your profile. Following our employment requirements for the profile of urban and land use planners. A bachelor's degree in urban and regional planning, geography, architecture, engineering, or a related discipline is required. A master's degree in one of these disciplines may be required. Membership in the Canadian Institute of Planners is usually required. Urban and land use planners are regulated in Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Quebec, Alberta, the Northwest Territories and Nunavut, and membership in a provincial planning institute may be required in other provinces. 
Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design LEAD, certification is offered by the Canada Green Building Council and may be required by some employers. Illustrative job titles and exclusions Every job role or employment can have multiple profile titles. So if you are not able to find the exact job title for your profile then you need not to worry. Now we will see the list of illustrative and alternative titles for your profile. This section is a list of titles commonly used in the labor market. We will also see the exclusions list that is the list of titles that cannot be covered under your profile. So let's have a glimpse of it. Illustrative titles for the profile of urban and land use planners are as follows. Community and urban planner. Environmental planner. Land use planner. Municipal planner. The list is quite large, so, if you want to read all the alternative profile titles then you can pause this video and can have a proper glimpse. Now let's see the exclusion list. Architects, C2151 Architects. Architecture and Science Managers, C0212 Architecture and Science Managers. Engineering Managers, C0211 Engineering Managers. Land Surveyors, C2154 Land Surveyors. So, this was all about the profile of urban and land use planners with NOC code, 2153. We at Brain Drain Consultants Private Limited helps you to migrate to Canada on work permit or on PR. Our motive is to convert your immigration dreams into reality. We assist you in Canadian style resume and cover letter preparation. Mapping the best employment opportunities with your skill set. Employment consultation and job search. Online skill profile preparation and branding. Education credential assessment filing Canada. Migration skill assessment filing Australia. Expression of interest, EUI, filing, LMIA, work visa, PR, business visa filing. If you need any further information, then you can contact our team of expert registered migration and employment consultants. Our team will help you to explore the employment, work visa and other immigration opportunities for your profile in Canada and Australia. Click on the booking link mentioned in the description to reserve an expert session for a detailed discussion to explore your immigration opportunities. We also assist employers to file LMIA with Employment and Social Development Canada ESDC. So if you are an employer in Canada we can help you to get the best manpower for your company. Canadian immigration is a merit-based immigration process and your selection under most of the immigration programs depends upon your age, education, experience. English language capability, spouses educations and experience, employment availability through LMIA, provincial nomination extra. We at Brain Drain Consultants Private Limited provide a one-stop online platform with all kind of immigration services for our global customers. You can have online consultancy sessions, assessment application filing and all kind of visa processing assistance by our team of experts. If you want to do a self-assessment and check your eligibility for immigration, then click on the link attached in the description and download our app to do your immigration assessment yourself. Also watch our other videos related to work visa filing and finding a job in Canada from your home country. So, if you like our video then don't forget to subscribe, like and share our YouTube channel. Also hit the bell icon to get the most updated information regarding global immigration. Thanks, and we will meet again with one another informative video soon.